Hello everyone, this is Mason Mer Avaron. I'm gonna be presenting this demo for you guys about the MotoCAD and mechanical coupling. Uh, uh, as you know, if you are a part of Ozen Engineering Company, we are a part of ANSYS family. And what do exactly we do? As you see here, we sell ANSYS products. We provide customer support for them. And if necessary, we can conduct trainings as well. We also do consulting in structural, fluids, optics, and systems, semiconductor, you name it. So in your business, whenever you need any simulation tools, uh, feel free to contact us. We probably have a tool that can help you with that. I'm trying to show you guys how to uh, use a CAD from MotoCAD after designing an electric model and then bring it into mechanical for FEA, NVH, or any other program. As you know, MotoCAD is a parametric tool, uh, so when you're dealing with it, here's a sample, you have a radial picture and you have the slot numbers, stator numbers and all these parameters that you put manually without having a CAD and then you have the actual parameters, you put the lens, the shaft diameter, all those factors and based on that it would give you a three-dimensional simple CAD. As you see here, this is the motor we had. It has a rotor, stator, and also the shaft. And if you notice, you see these are all the parts we are going to have it. So we need to export this CAD to mechanical to be able to do some FE analysis on that. To do that, we go to files. Then we go to geometry export. Uh, we can have different formats like DS, DXF or ANSYS electric desktop or design or even the star CCM but we use the more generic one which is the STL and we go to this folder defined as a target desktop AutoCAD mechanical like a new folder and we save it here and then export if you go to that folder you'll see that it had saved all the components inside of it rotor stator and also the shaft so as you see we can bring all these uh, into space claim and even into the ANSYS mechanical here we see the mechanical uh, so we see the space claim and then if we bring it in we would have all these geometries if you open it you see we have the components of the motor uh, but as I mentioned, because we are trying to see how much is the stress because of the centrifugal force, we would need to just do rotors and also the shaft, not the stator. So we can bring these parts into mechanical. If you go to ANSYS workbench, as you see, uh, we have the material data and so we have the geometry which is going to feed the static structural model and based on that we will be able to build a mechanical model as you see here here is ANSYS mechanical you have all these three parts you can assign materials into them you can then mesh it and then you can do a impose a rotational velocity on it let's say here we assume it to be 150 radian per second which is a good guess and also we have frictionless support on the shafts and based on that we can do a fee analysis and we can do deformation equivalent to one with the stretches to see the radial deformation as you see it shows how it changes because uh, as we go further radially we would be having more deformation and also it shows how much is the von Mises stresses? You see where we have the max and the min von Mises stresses. We can do the same thing with other tools here. It looks like we have modal and then we can do that with Fluent or any kind of other NVH tools or even ANSYS electronic desktop. Thanks for your attention and have a great day. Goodbye.